tonight, I really felt a special sort of connection with the space because of the beautiful acoustics uh, and the array of stunning musos behind me. Um, yeah, really, really nice connection with the room and I appreciate being here. Yeah, yeah. It's not, off, it's not every day you get to um, play a show like this. So. For me, music growing up was all about 60s and 70s soul and funk and psychedelic rock music, really. Uh, a lot of the Beatles, Sly Stone, Joni Mitchell, you know, um, and, and wide, a wide array of music, um, like, you know, world music, Miles Davis, um, a lot of jazz, Cannonball, yeah. New Zealand music uh, has definitely played a role in, in my kind of influences and things. Um, I love um, Electric Wire Hustle. I love Fat Freddy's Drop, you know. Uh, that, that sort of music is, is where I, you know, came from in terms of Kiwi music, yeah. I think uh, in terms of social media and things like that, you know, some people definitely feel um, as though personal and professional perhaps don't mix so well, but um, I think it, it makes your brand stronger. Um, and I, I personally just like being who I am um, on stage and off stage, and that's the way I've always been, and um, it seems to be working so far. So. I think uh, for younger musicians and aspiring to be great musicians, I think uh, you have to really dive in the deep end. Um, and that means listen to as much music as you can, um, expose yourself to as much music as you can. You know, it's a production centre. What goes in must come out. So it, essentially we're, we're, um, we're completely influenced by our external environment. And so, you know, everything that you expose yourself to ha has some sort of effect on you. So, and, and just to um, not give up, basically, as well, that's a really important part because, um, you know, there's heaps of setbacks in any profession, any part of life, but um, uh, there's heaps of setbacks in the music industry and you've got to be prepared to work really hard.